Today I'm going to do a little Gamora video for you. It's about scentigens and it's not just lip scents. It's about everything when it comes to makeup. So I'm going to start with my left side will be without scentigens and my right side will be with. Okay, it's going to show you exactly why this is so crucial to have as a cosplayer. It's glorious and magnificent. Alright guys, so currently this side of my face has scentigens foundation on it. Now I put it on in the shade of dewy which is glorious it matches my skin tone the best side of the line and on my other side i will be putting um it was my pre-favorite the stay matte rimmel london in true ivory so that side's gonna this was gonna go on this side okay so step one complete two different foundations on my face i have to tell you the truth i'm feeling a little silly but this side rimmel london this side sedigence so you'll see in one second what I'm going to do for my Gamora is I'm going to show you the original green that I used on one side without any scentigens, then the other new green for scentigens that I used on the right side, and then how I figured out how to do it is going to be both in between on my forehead. After all, there were three triangles on my Gamora Disney bound. So you'll see me back in just one second. I do want to talk about something that's very important with scentigens, is their applicators have this fantastic little gloss looking brush. So for, like, it's key, it is key that when you first take it out, you actually dab part of it off, um, especially because I'm using shadow sense for this. If you put too much on, like this is great, this is fine, you know, I dusted my brush off, but if I were to just take the whole thing, it would have been insanely heavy, kind of like what would happen right here, and it would be, there'd be a lot, it's more to move around, it might be easier for you that way. However, you're going to use more product in the long run, and these products can last you up to a year as long as you do it right. So, and while I'm showing you, I'm actually using this, unfortunately, discontinued um, shadow sense, but it's glorious, and it's probably my favorite. But the instructions even say dab a small amount onto the eyelid. Now, of course, I'm using it for my face, so it's not small. So, my scentigen side is complete, and I really love this green. It's really rich, mossy, almost army green, but much richer. I already said that, but that's okay. So on my other side, what I originally used was this NYX Green Blush. Um, it's in the shade of Hot Green. Now that's what I originally used for my Disney bound. I have to tell you, there were so many times that I was sitting down to eat with Nicholas and I'm sitting there touching up my face because my green was coming off. My Blackberry lips did not come off, but naturally everything else was. So I'll see you guys in just one second and you'll see the Hot Green again. Guys, so here's my next green side versus my Cynogen screen side. As you can tell, this one's darker, this one's lighter. This is closer to Gamora's skin cone. However, it comes off all day and takes much longer to do. It's definitely not as easy to execute, especially when you're working with this little guy right here. My little I don't know, angled brush, I guess is what you would call it. I just call it a brush. I don't know all that lingo. I just use what I need to use. So what I'm going to show you now is something I figured out works for me, somewhere in between. Okay. Hi guys. All right, so I'm back. So what I did is for my top triangle corner thing, I um I actually mixed both. So I put Cynogen Sun as a base, and while it was still damp, I covered it with the NYX blush. Now my NYX triangles were never as able to go as deep. Um, they could have, but it's just much harder to make sure that it's a symmetrical triangle at that point. Now. With my Gamora top triangle, I did make it much bigger than my last time. Um, I did want to show more that I'm Gamora, cover more of my face without too much to where I would not be able to be allowed into the parks. So, but covering it with the NYX blush to give it a lighter green tone, as you can see, um, I can add more in just a minute and I might. But um, my next step is I'm gonna do my liner and I will show you the difference between those in one second. All right guys, so I do have a little bit more done. I have my wing and my top line set on this side. For that side, I do use my Julep liner, my fluid glider, that's what they call it, because it's gel eyeliner. Um, it is glorious, it's been my favorite for a long time. However, um, this is hard to beat and it's black brown, which is fantastic. Um, it's not too dark, it's not too light as you can tell. And the more you use, the darker it looks, actually. But I do have to tell you something. Now, this uh, eye sense is not for the faint-hearted. It does have a smell to it. Not necessarily a smell, but almost like a sensation that comes next to your eye. Now, I've gotten used to it, just like lip sense when it first burns. It's similar to that. Um, totally worth it. Lasted me through so many things already. So, I'll be back and you 
and see the finished product. So I'm gonna give you a little close up here. I'm not as strong with my glider as I am with my Cynogen Sliner. Cynogen Sliner is a little brush. This one's like, they're different. I'll show you one second. All right, guys, so this is my fluid eye glider. It's like a little marker, okay? That's the difference in tip versus the Cynogen's brush. Oh, there we go, out of focus again. There it is. So it's a brush and liquid, which is great. It's like a gel, it's perfect. All right guys, so I do not have the lash sense that I want to show you today because mine is currently on its way here. So what I'm using today is Smashbox. However, I will not be putting it on right now due to what I'm gonna show you later in the video. I will however be applying my lovely Blackberry, mm -mm, my favorite, uh, my lip sense and a plain black lipstick that I have from a long time ago when I first started cosplaying Harley. So you'll see the difference and why I'm doing this in just one second. All right guys, now something you'll know if you are already a lip sense fan is that lip sense goes on in three layers. You're supposed to line your lip, put one layer on, second layer, let it dry, third, glorious, and then apply gloss. Now, I did seem to forget that I was only doing half my lip. Sorry about that. But this is first layer and lining, and I'll show you the rest in a second. Alrighty, so I'm back. You can tell, one side, glossy. That's my lip sense. Other side is my black cream lipstick. Now, if you've ever worked with anything, you know how hard cream is to stay on. And I'm gonna show you exactly how hard it is to keep it on. Alrighty, so I want you to keep in mind, not lip sense, lip sense, okay? So, of course we never go to a bar before con, but we're gonna go after, and we're gonna celebrate, and the guys might have a beer, the Jokers, the Harleys, they might have a glass of wine. After all, they are the queen of Gotham. But here's my problem. You can't enjoy a glass of wine if your lipstick's gonna come off on it. Left side, right side. I'll show you one more thing. So you wanna kiss your joker. I mean, after all, those are cute pictures. But do you want his red to come off on your black? Your black on his red? I don't think so. With lip sense, nothing's gonna come off with the normal cream black lip makeup that we all use. Bye bye. Now you look like a hot mess, a Joker Harley mashup that nobody wanted in the first place. So keep that in mind as we go towards the next step in our video. All right guys, so now we've seen the glorious of lip sense, how your Joker and Harley will not turn into a mashup, your Gamora will not leave marks on your Star-Lord. Now let's see some more magic, okay? So we're gonna show you non cynogens cynogens keep that in mind. This is the mixed, just for color reference, okay? But I'm gonna show you some gloriousness with all of this and why I choose Cynogens. All right guys, I'm gonna show you exactly why I choose Cynogens over anything else. Blank hands, nothing on them. Still nothing on it. I got some running green, some running black, but then let me show you my best part wash off my hands real quick. So I washed off my hands, but let's say something wet happens to come across your face. <laughs> I'm a hot mess now, is what the problem is. And my eyeliner is slowly disappearing. My makeup's gone. My cream makeup is still coming off and my cynogens. is just fine. So I want to say, lo and behold, that is the best and the only and the top reason that I use Cynogens. You don't want a piece of your costume coming off on your teeth, on your hands, anywhere that you're gonna have it. You don't wanna drink glass. You wanna be able to eat and drink at con. I know, cause we all do. And you don't wanna have to reapply afterwards. So I'm gonna show you one more thing before I go. I do want to point out with an up close of what happened to my face that this side is running, but what did I do at the top? I combined my NYX with my Cynogens, so it was on top. Now I do know that if I used a ceiling powder that probably would not happen because it's 
already stuck to something white or if I would have like dabbed off the color a little bit more it probably wouldn't have been as bad um, but I mean it wipes right off considering everything else is stuck there so now I don't have to reapply my entire square I can just keep going with what I have so it is breakfast time around here as the honey just woke up so I'm gonna make a piece of toast and show you exactly what I mean this is it Comic-Con 2017. You've planned and gone all this time forever. Regal Con, shoot, I don't know, any con, anything, even just a performance. And you're starving, but you can't eat because you're gonna have to reapply and you didn't bring it with you. You left it in the car. So I'm gonna show you my buttery piece of toast. So there's a little bit of black on the one side from the cream side naturally this side Nada. it's glorious guys best thing I ever invested in oh there goes the cream side remember how I went a little too far over with my lip scents well that's the cream makeup coming off so that is why reason 155 I'm just kidding that is why I choose Senegin that is why I choose to sell it and that is why I believe in it so highly now if you want to see more stay tuned I'm gonna do a Belle Disney Belle makeup inspired with a gold shimmer kind of like this um, remember this is an eyeshadow technically and it'll be great I'll see you then have the lashes. <laughs> Lash? <laughs> Something you'll know if you see other videos of mine is that um, lip scents, which I almost forgot I was only doing half my lip. <gasps> <gasps> only half my lip is on this side. I just wanted to point out the tails. Aren't they cute? <laughs>